year ago that you would still be WWE Universal Champion, I wouldn't have believed it. I am delighted to disappoint you. Am I disappointed? You're a draw. For some reason, people seem to like you. It's just that damn insistence on doing the exact opposite of everything I say that drives me nuts. I've never been great with authority. How long are we gonna keep doing this? I am the most must-see general manager in SmackDown's history. You're the WWE Universal Champion with all the momentum. So what if we work together instead of being at each other's throats? Because this right now, this feels like yet another trap you're trying to spring. I don't trust you. Call it a choice between the carrot and the stick. The carrot is, I make you into a cross-platform superstar like WWE has never seen. Of course, you'll need to have a bit of an attitude change and be willing to get your hands dirty. Okay, and what's the stick? The stick is, reject my offer, and if you think it's been a hard year, you can't even imagine what's coming next. After what I'll put you through, you will never escape Roman's shadow. Interesting. Maybe that's exactly what I'd do. Escape his shadow and yours too. What the hell does that mean? What it means is I hear NXT is a really cool brand. Never been. Maybe I take the undisputed WWE Universal Championship, head down to NXT and go after the title that Roman never won. What? You have a contract. You can't just walk off my show. I don't know. After this past year, I think I've shown I can do just about whatever I want. Fine. You have a choice to make. Work with me and have everything you've ever dreamed of. Or I make you regret ever becoming a WWE superstar. The only stick you've got is the one we allow you to wield. So I'm gonna break it and go to NXT. Do this and you will be in breach of contract. The consequences will be enormous. Oh, I bet they will. If I'm Triple H, I'd look at the GM of SmackDown alienating the WWE Universal Champ so bad that he goes AWOL to another brand as a real negative in his next performance review. I wonder if Adam Pearce is available. You're going to regret this. You first. The media were true. It's the undisputed WWE Universal Champion here on NXT. This is going to send shockwaves throughout the WWE Universe. SmackDown GM The Miz must be having a panic attack. I'd be too if my champion fled to another brand. We'll have to see if this is a one-time appearance or a more permanent move. What a victory here on NXT for the WWE Universal Champion. But we still don't know why he's here in the first place. Patience, Saxton. I think we're about to find out. It feels damn good to be here in NXT. To compete in front of all of you. And finally, get away from the Miz. But let me set the record straight and put all the rumors to rest. While well, this felt good to get my first NXT win, <laughs> it won't be my last. I'm not here just for a one-off appearance. <laughs> no. This this is bigger than that. Every champion in WWE walks in the shadow of Roman Reigns. Me, more than any other. So I'm here because I want something that sets me apart from the head of the table. Something that Roman never won. And that is the NXT Championship. So Shawn Michaels, if you're looking for a can't miss main event, <laughs> I'm ready when you are.
Did the WWE Universal Champion just ask for an NXT title match? Not sure how much of an ask that was. He's pretty much forcing Shawn Michaels' hand. Well, I know I'd love to see Grayson Waller go toe-to-toe -to -toe with SmackDown's champion. So would I, but he's going to have to get in line. Waller already has the defense lined up at NXT Battleground. Either way, it's going to be a huge matchup if and when it happens. The man in stripes who won't be changing his. It's our impartial referee, Grayson Waller. The following contest is a special guest referee match. Please welcome the special guest referee for this match, Grayson Waller. The Dark Horse might be looking for a little insurance from tonight's special guest referee, Grayson Waller. Might be. He attacked Waller's rival, Johnny Gargano, at the Performance Center. I think it's clear he's trying to get Waller in his pocket. It is time for an adrenaline rush. And the participants, first from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 183 pounds, Wesley. Served in the United States Air Force. Wesley is definitely right at home when taking to the skies. We know from experience that Wesley has no problem taking on all comers. Yeah, Lee will take any chance to show off and show out to soar through the skies. Wesley will take it. And I can't wait to see him compete. It's the journeyman who's now on a journey to greatness. And his opponent, representing the Mean Street Posse from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 331 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Blueprints, Brian Scott. There's a lot of hype surrounding this guy, but I'm not convinced there's enough talent to back it up. Frankly, I'm starting to think that Dark Horse is nothing more than a forgettable donkey. Hey, donkeys play a vital role in agriculture, and this guy is playing a vital role in today's WWE. Seriously, Byron? There's nothing left to do but saddle up and get this one started. I appreciate the WWE Universal Champion's ambition here. He wants to prove a point to Roman Reigns by winning a title that Roman never held. However, if he were to fall short, it would be tremendously embarrassing. No doubt, Michael. And with NXT champion Grayson Waller out here as the special guest referee, this number one contender match becomes much harder to call. Well, maybe the Dark Horse needs to be humbled a bit. Either way, I'm going to enjoy watching this. Ooh. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Johnny Gargano said he'd be watching this match closely, and he meant it. He probably didn't take too kindly to being jumped by the Universal Champion at the PC. Picture perfect for oh. oh, great takedown. Into the cover. 
Quick shoulder up. Doesn't bode well if you still can't get more than a one count by now. Lee took his foot off the gas and paid for it. What's he preparing for? Great rotation on the belly to back suplex. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. Dominator! That move had the amount of force akin to a natural disaster. Here comes the stomp. RKO instead. Big punch finds its mark. Discus Larian. Soak slam? Oh no! All the way up. Oh, oh. Into a spine buster. Crippling. And the momentum's clearly against West now. Can West recover from this adversity? Famous, sir. Counter. And now there's an opening. Ooh. West gets the better there. Can't prepare your face for that. Vicious knee. The end is looming now. And he has just taken an extraordinary amount of abuse. Put into the corner now. This won't end well. Uh, up to the top. Avalanche manhandle slam. That move wasn't originally intended for the top rope, but that's what we just saw. An emphatic victory. Here is your winner. The Inconceivable. How does this guy keep beating the odds? I don't believe it. It sounded like he had money on his opponents or something. Start believing, Corey. Hey, they were just trying to keep them on their toes here. And guess what? They did. So it looks like a win-win to me. Yeah, more like a game plan backfiring, Corey. And that is cause for celebration. The following is scheduled for one fall. That is for the NXT Championship. Here he is, the title holder, in search of adding an NXT sized notch on his belt. The dark horse looks like a man confident he's going to be walking out of here needing an extra belt hanger for his closet. Everyone walks in that way, whether they end up walking out having won a title or having lost their pants. For a superstar that always has something to prove, his next opportunity starts now.
It's the NXT champion hoping he can keep the title firmly within his grasp. Talk about pivotal moments in a career. This could be it for Grayson Waller. Knowing Waller and the amount of confidence he has, he'll be ready for this opportunity. Like him or hate him, Waller can do some amazing things in the ring, and I can't wait to see it. Introducing the challenger from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 331 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Blueprint, Brian Scott. And his opponent from Sydney, Australia, weighing in at 206 pounds, the NXT Champion, Grayson Waller! Undoubtedly, the top title in this company. Champion versus champion. This is as big as it gets. By beating Grayson Waller tonight, the man who was considered the dark horse of WWE can accomplish something that Roman Reigns never achieved. Grayson Waller doesn't care about any of that. Someone's coming to his house to try to take his title, and he's not going down without a huge fight. Sent into the corner. Flying forearm connects. Wasting no motion on the counter. Fighting back by the counter. Yokes up their opponent. Sidewalk slam delivered. Vice like grip on the trapezius muscle. This is terribly painful. A steady stream of moves taking out Waller. Grayson has to start volleying back somehow. From the apron, look out below! And he slides him back to the mat. Nothing quite like the phenomenal forearm. He hit it. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. He went right into that turnbuckle. Guys, I can't think of a worse place for him to be right now. He's got the answer for that one. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. Drives a foot into the stomach. He just isn't being given any room to recuperate. Yeah, this flurry's proven to be quite the challenge for him here. Dangerous situation for both competitors. Setting it up now from the middle rope. Manhandle slam. Any move from the top like that is nearly catastrophic. Oh, powers him up. Uh-oh. Grayson a step ahead there. Discus Larian. That was nasty. The champ not looking great right now. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. He is definitely struggling to keep him down at this point. Bangle, sir. And it looks like Waller's bleeding after that. Setting Grayson up. Belly to back with force. Trying to put the champ out of sort, maybe even discombobulate them. 
Oh, this is gonna hurt. Dominator! He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. Uh-oh, it's gonna, we're gonna see it! Right to the back of the neck! The champ getting worked over here. He can really stand to give back as good as he's getting right about now. And responds with a counter of their own. Oh my goodness! All right, back to it, returning to the ring. Left by the turnbuckles. Retaliation from Grayson. Counters on counters. Technical prowess on display. With the counter. And he finds an answer for Waller. He decides. Jeez. Oh, this could be bad. This, this could be really bad. Lights out. Gonna see a new champ. Can't quite get it there. These two showing how well scouted they each are. Powerless position to be in right now. Strongest slam. Ouch. Cover. Two. It's over. The reign is over. Here is your winner. And the Undisputed WWE Universal Champion has accomplished a feat that Roman Reigns never could by winning the NXT Championship. He shouldn't even be in NXT. This guy's AWOL. And I have it on good authority that The Miz's legal action is moving forward. Contest is an Iron Man match. And it's for the NXT Championship. Time to feel the Grayson Waller effect. I'd rather not. Already quickly risen through the ranks of NXT. Never afraid to pick a fight, though there's no guarantee he'll actually fight fair. Now we'll see if Grayson Waller can back up all his self-generated hype. It's the Warrior who's followed a dusty trail from the fringes to the spotlight. Well, the way this guy stumbled into such good luck and the WWE Universal Championship, let's hope he doesn't stumble down the ramp while he's at it. His title win might have been fortunate, but the longer he holds it, the more you have to admit he's a worthy champ. I don't have to admit anything. To me, he's still got a lot to prove. Introducing the challenger from Sydney, Australia, weighing in at 200 and 
six pounds, Grayson Waller. And his opponent from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 331 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion and the NXT Champion, the Blueprint, Brian Scott. The past doesn't matter. Here's where it counts. Here is where it's settled. The prize is on the line. Despite clouds of legal controversy hanging over it, here we go with this Iron Man rematch for the NXT Championship. If Grayson Waller can take care of business in the ring, then all the legal stuff goes away, and the WWE Universal Champion will head back to SmackDown to deal with the consequences. You have to wonder if it's a bit of a distraction for the defending champion. He can't afford to take his eye off the ball in a match like this. attack that very few superstars can perform with such ease. Makes him pay with a counter. Oh my God, stopped dead in their tracks. The sound of this crowd is deafening and he's asking for more. Placing them into the corner. Superman punch in the corner. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Spear! Quickly to cover. And a shoulder in the air. Not time to expect victory yet. Steady stream of moves taking out Waller. Waller's got to find a window to fight back. Getting carried around, bad spot to be in. And into the count. And he breaks the count quickly. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Flat out power. Wow. A deadlift military press. Holy moly. And a slam. Boys, his up. Uh oh. Waller wasting no motion on the counter. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Spy Buster! These are big power moves becoming more devastating with every attempt. From the top. Elbow drop. Grayson now undertaking a barrage. But Grayson can't let this flourish derail him. Out in the world. The challenger is in some big trouble. Yeah, this match has not been kind to him. Flinged across the way. This could do it! The defending champion stakes an early fall. The champ has this one in hand oh, now. And the defending champion gets an early fall. Come out of nowhere. Okay. The title is going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. Big forearm. Steady stream of moves taking out Waller. Waller's got to find a window to fight back. 
Saw that one coming. If he was looking for an opportunity to pull a 180, that could be it. The challenger being outclassed here. This is a very dangerous situation now. And a slam. Just crossed the first quarter of our time limit. I have to imagine some real intense planning went into this pacing. To stay ahead of the competition by this much, this early into the match, you have to appreciate the strength. To the skies. 450. Cover. Two. An early fall for the defending champion. He's been placed in the corner now. Big time move coming up. Dangerous situation for both competitors. Setting it up now from the middle rope. Avalanche manhandle slam. Cover. Two count. The champ scores a fall. Planning on what to do next. Oh my God. Superhuman power. What a slam. The roll. Counter the lead from with a power slam. What? Oh, uh, hold on. Is he thinking of the submission here? Oh, is he going to. Hold on. Trying to maneuver out. Dropping bombs right now. And escapes. Getting set up for something in the corner. And Grayson gets that turn back on him. Famouser. Champ will stay champ. The defending champion scores an early fall. And managed to push off there. Basement drop kick. Oh, and he's smashing the face. Surveying the scene. Dropping the knee. Uh-oh. Springboard into the corner. Bro, are you kidding me? Cover. Two. An early fall for the defending champion. Wait a minute. Setting in. Devastating submission coming. Oh, is he going to tap back? And he chooses to let go of the hold. But just the amount of time he was in that submission could be very significant. Brilliant countering by both competitors. Ooh, shoulder to the midsection. Slingshot into the ring. Continues the attack on the core. It could prove to be an effective strategy. Waller knew that was coming. Right into the super kick. A A on point. Not done yet. We got part two on the way. Attitude adjustment. Is it enough? The cover. There's two. The defending champion stakes an early fall. Sends him into the corner. Retaliation from Grayson. And Waller puts a quick stop to the momentum that was mounting against him. Brief sign of adrenaline from Grayson. Evades the attack. Body press. Caught in a bad position here. Running power slam. And the rope will force a break. And the electricity of this moment is coursing through his veins. Answering back. 
Grayson now undertaking a barrage. But Grayson can't let this flourish derail him. Okay, he is not going to let him make a mockery of things. Good God! Picked out of midair into a power slam. And after all the damage the body has taken out. From out of nowhere! RKO! Another one bites the dust to that. the champ. Oh, kick out, kick out at two. This puts the pressure back on the champion. Can the champion respond with their back against the wall? And now the question runs in the mind, how am I going to be able to end this? These consecutive attacks have him really. He's got to wake up and get in the fight. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. He's turning the tables. Rocked with the point of the elbow. Oh, across the top rope. Waller playing to the crowd, trying to get him fired up. Oh, man, landing awkwardly. Uh-oh. What a takedown. Fujiwara on bar. Oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. Waller setting his sights and lining him up. And now with the kendo stick in hand, he's ready to do some real damage. Oh, God. Oh, man. Punch lands. Champions need to finish the job, too. An early fall for the defending champion. Scouted it and fired back with a punch straight to the face. A bit of provocation from Waller. Sidewalk slam. Majority of the clock is gone. Iron Man testing these athletes metal. And there is a very steep deficit on the score. From the top, sent on from the apron. Counter by Grayson. Five European uppercut. Push. Boom. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. He fends off the attack. Oh, what a kick. And he finds an answer for Waller. Feet of strength. And another attitude adjustment. Cover! Two count. The defending champion states an early fall. the skin of their teeth and don't expect the champ to start going easy on them now i think there's still some shock in the air over the fact that that didn't produce a pinfall oh my look at this elbows right to the knee round and round over and over we can certainly say we are headed into the home stretch right now you're gonna need a hail mary to come back from a deficit like this Time is not a friend now. Had that one scouted. Forks the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Grayson falling victim to a surge of attacks here. Grayson has to start volleying back somehow. Dominator. Is it enough? The cover. Two count. The defending champion scores an early fall. Placed in the 
corner. Strong elbow on the mark. Springboard kick, but not done yet. Exploder suplex. Very little time remaining here. Oh, out of nowhere. RKO. Looks like the champ is going to retain. An early fall for the defending champion. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Oh, my God. The champion retains. The Dark Horse is on a roll. For now, Saxton, the WWE Universal title puts a target on his back every time he even enters an arena. This was a great title defense from the champion. Yeah, hats off to the champion. They could not be kept down in this one.